and gentlemen, my next guest is a Grammy Award-winning actor you know from Hamilton, Mindhunter, and Frozen. He now stars off-Broadway in Little Shop of Horrors. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Jonathan Groff. <laughs> Nice to see you again. Oh, it's so nice to be here. You know, you know, you're 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 a you're a musical theater star, and <laughs> you know, you can you feel the greatness. That I was mean, just I in can't that chair, believe. Had you met her before? I had never. I've never met her. I'm did you meet her tonight? Did you meet her backstage? I did, and she's kind of like everything that you wish she was, right? <laughs> that's the strange. Some people, you meet them and you go, oh, that's exactly what you wanted Julie Andrews to be. Yes. Yes. So funny and kind. I'm, it's very surreal for me to be sitting in the chair that she just sat in. And we were kind of wearing the same outfit. <laughs> I noticed. Wow. Just a little, like, wow. cosmic moment between me and Julie. Now, have you, have you always been a, a fan of Julie's? So, not only just a fan, but, like, a deep, deep, deep fan of Julie Andrews. Yeah. <laughs> Where... When I was three years old, I dressed up... Is that what this is? That's what this is, yeah. Okay. I dressed up as Mary Poppins for Halloween, so that's so not me. Here's, this, is, this is Mary Poppins right here. Yeah. And this is you as Mary Poppins. <laughs> Beautifully done. <laughs> Thank Beautifully you. done. Thank you. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Yes. And now, what? The, now you had seen you had seen Mary Poppins and just loved Mary Poppins. We had the VHS of Mary Poppins, and my mom will tell you that I watched it every single day. And this particular Halloween, I was three years old. My brother went as the entertainer. I was in. I don't know if the you entertainer. Could... What entertainer? Just he, he called himself the entertainer, and it's <laughs> a, <laughs> he had like a top hat and a cane. Okay. He was really trying to upstage me as Mary Poppins. Sure, he sure, knew sure. that would be a huge sure. draw. Yes. Because I had lipstick on and the hat, and my mom had a carpet bag. And yeah. I actually. First I, of all, you got a great mom. I do. Yes, yes. I do have a great mom. Let me dress up as Mary Poppins. That's fantastic. And speaking of VHS, um, I've, I understand that you actually brought a VHS of your mother recording you as Mary Poppins at age yes. three yes. on Halloween. On Halloween, in my grandparents' yard, who were Mennonites, so just, <laughs> we're in my Mennonite grandparents' yard, my brother is the entertainer, I am Julie Andrews in drag. Uh, Jim, <laughs> please. Now we're over to Jonathan, sing a song from Mary Poppins. I tried. If you say it. Literally, he has lipstick on. Ooh. <laughs> he has lipstick. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh Fantastic. Wow. So what'd you say? Do you mind? And we're gonna get to your your thing in a minute. But what did you say to her when you went in? Did what? How did you contain yourself? I just I just took a deep breath. And I just said, thank you for your incredible... I didn't tell her that I was dressed as her in drag <laughs> and that I would be featuring that later. I just, I just tried to keep it cool, and, and I just asked her questions. I asked her if she gets nervous before interviews, yeah. and I, she said, yeah, a little bit. Oh, wow. But she just came off stage and said, isn't he the greatest? He makes me feel so comfortable at home. <laughs> <laughs> you are. All right. You are. All right. All right. You are. Now you're starring in Little Shop of Horrors at yes. the West Side Theater. Yes. Uh, we, we got. We got it right here. Yeah, we yeah, got. Yeah. We got the little in the playbill right there. Bada bing. Little Shop of Terrors. Yeah. Now there uh, you go. Seymour uh, is a, a is a beloved character. Yes. A bit odd. It's a bit of odd. Story. What? What? <laughs> what? Why did you want to do this part? What? What attracted you to this? Michael Mayer, an incredible director sure. who I worked with on Spring Awakening yeah. about 13 years ago, mm -hmm. called me in May and said, 
we want to take Little Shop of Horrors back to its roots and do it in an off-Broadway theater. At the, it's at the West Side Theater. It's 270 yeah. seats. It was done in the 80s at the Orpheum Theater on the Lower East Side. Mm -hmm. And Howard Ashman, who is the original director and writer with Alan Menken, famously said, it's meant to be in an intimate space. We're never moving it to Broadway. And so Michael wanted to sort of recreate the intimacy of the show and have a great time. And mm -hmm. we are having the best time eight times a week doing the show. We just opened last week. And it's really like a competition between the audience and the cast as to who is having more fun. Because it's such a fun show to do. Now, I understand that you met your boyfriend, Corey, in New Zealand. Yes. I was just down there. I Unbelievable. Know. You met him there, or is he from, is he just a Kiwi? He's from there. He lives in London now, but we were both teaching at a theater camp in Christchurch. Oh, wow. And we met, we were, he was teaching dance, I was teaching acting through song. And what would, what would you say the difference is, it's hard to explain to people who haven't been down there, like, what the national character is down there. What do you think the difference is between Kiwis and Americans? Portion size. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank good to see so you, much. Jonathan. So good to see you. Little Shop of Horrors is at the West Side Theater now. Jonathan Groff, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Youngblood featuring Dan Reynolds.